take a look at the question solvent based dyes versus water based dyes what's the differences and why and when would you use there is no essential difference contrary to what people think water based dyes are not going to wash off they're not going to go anywhere the only difference between the two is that the colors are held in a different medium solvent evaporates water evaporates the color pigments are there they're going to fix to the leather having said that there are a couple of things to bear in mind solvent based ones you do need to ventilate they have a bit more fumy and they evaporate off a lot quicker to much higher speed they don't give you so much room to move and work around with your leather they can also slightly dry out the leather so just be aware of that when you're working and thinking about which products you use they also the solvents can enable the dye pigment to penetrate a little further down into the leather so you can get a little deeper down in your color which can make it look at the end like you've got a more even color so there are pros and cons with both. It's a little bit a question of what you're used to, what you like. Give them a try, see which you prefer. We'll give it a little test now just to show you what that might look like. So we have a piece of veg tan here and we're going to pour out a couple of the colours. So we're going to do, uh, the, in the water base, we'll do a conquer brown. And we'll just pop a bit of that into my dish. And then we'll do some of this Pro Dye Walnut. Now, they, I also find these tend to be a little bit runnier. So just watch when you're doing it. This is why having a cloth handy is useful. I'm popping the lid straight back on the top of that as well because again it's solvent I don't want to waste all those fumes going off so I'm going to get a couple of applicator pads I'm just using my cut and use one and I'll bring the camera down so you can see the difference as well between the two in here this is my water base this is my uh, solvent base here uh, now, with this water base, if I wanted to thin it out or dilute it, I could actually spray a bit of water as well for it to go on. My atmospheric conditions are reasonably cool today up, up here. So let's just find a better bit of pad. So this is going to start with the uh, conquer brown. I'm going to do that on the left side. And work that around so you can see I'm working in circular movements and I'm going to keep as I say I keep a piece of cloth here just to wipe off any excess that's sitting on that top surface I've got a nice deep color going on there and going on quite evenly so let's try the solvent base one obviously as you know wear gloves if you need to now I don't know if you can see but this is evaporating off I can see it lifting off and disappearing before my eyes like that can you see it going there now these are I just picked two browns then like not necessarily um, there for comparison of the brown but just to give you a sense of the effect okay so there's not a lot between them when I'm looking at them flat on. I can see a little through this one because it's a bit of a lighter colour. And as I say, that evaporation happened really quickly. Um, I like both of them um, and I would use different ones at different times for different projects, uh, depending what I'm doing um, and depending what the outcome is I want to get. I tend myself to work with the water base, but that's because I like playing around a lot as well and I like trying to get variety in my shading. Um, I know a lot of our knife makers and sheath makers like to have consistency and therefore may go the more traditional route. It depends what you're doing. So there we go.
that is water-based versus spirit-based, solvent-based. 